Hello Lilas, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you're new to this channel, guess what? You can subscribe now by clicking the red subscribe button. Click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And if you want exclusive content from me, you can join my chatterbox, which is a paid membership for $1.99 a month. And you do have to be at least 18 years old or older to join. If you like merch, you can also purchase merch that should be showing in the description bar underneath whatever the video and also so today I'm going to do a kit review that's probably the most unneeded kit review being that everybody and their mama has the Laura by Bonnie Brown I don't know what was going on with the world but I think we were in a great depression of and dying of thirst for a Bonnie Brown kit because let me tell you I have never seen so many kits become real life babies in so fast of a time or so short of a time until I'm just like I said oh my god I don't know if I want this kit like everybody got this kid right <laughs> but then I'm like do I want to be one of those that don't have one of these kids Mm, I don't know about that either like do I want to <laughs> so I'm like I don't know so I was kind of on the fence about the kit because I'm like okay some people said oh this kit is bigger than what I thought it's like a three month size baby and then some people were like yeah I love it blah 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 then somebody said oh it's got a corn head and then someone said oh but it, mostly everybody loves the kit loves the kit and I've seen a uh, many of them done mostly done great I'm not gonna say all because then I would be lying, right? But you, I really haven't seen one that was just so awful that you'd be like, oh my God, that's the worst. I think everybody's done a fabulous job being that they painted it in 1.2 seconds. I'm amazed. I'm amazed. Like some of these artists put so much detail in the baby's head already rooted and everything. So anyway, who needs my commentary on that? Let's get into the review. Um, first, let's talk about how fancy Body Brown decided to be with these uh, COAs. She is sick of y'all. Never mind. Um, stealing her kits, even though this paper won't stop anything. But I, I definitely appreciate the efforts and the just the extra mile that she went for the COAs. It's just beautiful. Especially for those of us that are huge Bonnie Brown fans, it's like you just this is a keepsake. You you these are things you love. It says this. Okay, this is a little card. It says this is a little reminder to please keep oh at top it says the Bonnie Brown collection. This is a little reminder to please keep your authentication card safe. Did I say that right? Because I know the, the, the uh, grandma police out there. Thank you so much for supporting my art. www.thebarneybrowncollection.com mm, I never even been to a website. What a fan I am, right? I probably did. It probably just been a long time. But anyway, and then on the back, it says Bonnie Brown Collection. I wish she would do this like on all of them. Then we could like collect them all, have all the matching cards. And then it came with this. It says the um proof of authenticity. Uh, <laughs> and it's a little card like this. And it transitioned from um the blank to painted. Oh my god, I love that. That is amazing. Amazing. And this is the thingy here, the other COA, and it has, you know, all the great, and it's an open edition. And, of course, this is a portrait baby of Sylvia's baby, but that is not why I collected it at all. I collected it because I am a Bonnie Brown fan, so I had to give in and buy. I said, at first I said, I'm not buying that kit. I'm not buying that kit because I knew it was going to be flooded in the market. And then I was just like, I can't help it. I got to do it. <laughs> okay. So without further ado, let's get into, I should have had the measurements. I always do that. I always oh, 20 inches. I believe the kit is 20 inches. 
I did not do, I don't have my phone in here either to do the, uh, I don't have phone available to, to do the Google and see like the head circumference and all that great jazz. But head size is great. I love the head shape. A lot of people don't understand that newborn babies have little egg shaped heads or different, you know, odd shaped heads. They are newborn. They are growing into the little cells and I just love it. So somebody had mentioned that they wanted to see babies with less neck and normally I typically like babies with a little bit of neck or something like that. But I feel like Bonnie captured that newborn baby where you can barely like, you know, see the neck in there. Um, I, you, you guys know I just had a, a grandson, a Bryson, and um, before Bryson was Audrey and Aubrey, and Audrey, she changed my opinion on like the babies with the little gap legs a little bit. I don't necessarily always love them, but I realized that real babies are in these different positions that I particularly don't always like my dolls to be in. Okay, so I'm gonna move Memphis just so we can just focus on Laura. But I am one to not like curved and curled legs normally, but Bryson stays in this position and he's only about two weeks old. But I have photos of him and his legs are always like this. They're always like this or like this. Like they're always in this scrunchy position. Like you pick him up and his little legs are like like this on you. Like lay down girl. All right. And his little legs are like, are, are like that. And it, I, I don't know. I can't make her do it. But they are always bent and tucked under him or something. Or something but anyway okay oh <laughs> i'm so long-winded oh that's what the old folks say you're long-winded all right so all right so let's start with feet these are big feet <laughs> i wish i had my tape measure for them but i i love that they that these are good size feet like this baby will definitely be able to fit like a size one shoe or zero shoe um newborn size they're narrow but they are long and my grandson i keep comparing because he's new his feet is long like this this is his feet is very long and i was like oh my gosh you got big feet boy but yeah so very nice size feet these toes are separated the big toe the this toe and then these three are connected and then on this foot all of the toes are separated and we don't I don't see that as much anymore in kids as I used to but um I love that I love that and the top of the feet is not overly sculpted but sculpted just enough with enough detail I feel like some people overcompensate with all these extra folds and wrinkles and I realize that real babies although they are wrinkly it's a simple wrinkle that's very it's just simply beautiful but um this this hand that little wrist oh my gosh it is it's so nice and like again the wrinkles are just naturally in there and like little fat rolls right there like a little dent like not fat rolls but you know just a little skin fold and stuff um the inside of the hand is detailed let me see if I can get in closer to 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 her, because I I feel like I'm I'm talking, but you guys can't see. I'm gonna take some light off of her so that you guys can see a little bit better. All right, let me know if that's okay, even though I can't hear you, but you can say it anyway. Make yourself feel better. Um, don't worry, I talk to myself all the time, honey. Um, so this hand, the insides is very nice. Long fingers, this long baby hands and fingers love it this hand is like babies always stretch out their little hands like this but it's not a a startled look so i like that it it looks i don't know how she managed to do this but this is something that's amazing because she captured the the little hands flaring out which babies do they stretch their little fingers but it's not like uh oh 
I'm crying. It's not that. It's it's just I'm stretching mommy and look at me, you know, type thing. Um, nose very well defined. I love a very well sculpted nose. That's I don't know how to explain it. Eyelids are nice. Cute little lips, not a lot of lips, but the real baby I'm sure didn't have as much lips. But enough for you to paint and give some coloring and it's got detail in the mouth. And these ears are beautiful because Bonnie Brown is my girl. She know I need those ears to be realistic. <laughs> Thank you, girl. No, I'm just kidding. But I, I love the ears. I love the hands. I love the feet. So I, if I had to say my most favorite part is the hands, the feet, and I do like the side profile. You know, some kids you can't, you know, when they do the prototypes, they only take the baby picture from one angle because if you turn that head in a 360, it don't look right from every angle. But Bonnie Brown, oh, let's talk about that Bonnie Brown. Her sculpting is amazing. You can turn it at any angle and that baby's gonna look real. I don't know, let me see if I'm turning this where you guys can see her from like down, looking downward. It's it's an amazing thing. Come on, let me, let me get this out of the face so y'all can see. It's an amazing thing. Let me zoom in. You can, you can tie it in a knot. You can tie it in a bow. She's amazing. Let me show you. all Wait, see, every angle she looks real. And look at those hands. Let's 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 look at those hands again. That hand. Yeah, look at that. Like I said, not extra too extra with the the wrinkles. This she does have some wrinkling in the in the wrist and stuff. Um quite a bit over here actually. Um pretty cool. And I did know she put some little like indentions right there, and it's so funny. Like I said, my grandson had that too. Um the little indentions in the little thigh area. I took pictures of him. And he, I, I went back and looked at it when I was looking at the kit, when I was trying to decide if I would order it. And I just ordered it. This is crazy. I really am intimidated to paint the kit. Um, I ordered this kit so that I could um, see it and hopefully, you know, find one already painted. Because I am actually intimidated to paint the kit. Um, they didn't do a lot of filling in in the back of the legs too bad on this kit, so that's pretty cool. Um, I see where they look like they filled it in a little bit right here. Um, the factory will do that sometime, but it's not too bad. I've seen it where it kind of takes away from the kit. It was one kit I didn't like the legs because the factory filled in the legs so much they kind of, it kind of took away from the kit, but this one... Only this one a little bit. It don't look like it filled in too much on that one. And it looks nice. So she's a good size. I don't. I think she's still very newborn-y. Um, but yeah. So very, very nice. I, I definitely also want to say. And let me make this quick. Number one. The one thing that I want to say. The most thing that shocked me the most when I got the kit. Is that the legs are curved, but they're not to a, to a point where um, it bothers me or I can't stand it. I, I think that the baby can still pose in different, you know, positions. Um, of course, she's not really got a lot of weight on her, but she does have polyfill. So, um, but yeah, I feel like the baby is still very poseable. You know, sometimes those curved, curved legs, it's a bit much. I, of course, she can do the little curve positions but she can do other positions land on the tummy i probably will have to practice on that part because see the i don't i guess you it, i wouldn't lay it lay her flat i don't know like you can't really 
and I ain't gonna look <laughs> like it, that's the only thing about the curved legs look you I mean how do you you gotta you can't really do that pose and that's okay because I mean we're mostly going to be showing the face on these babies and so we're not going to do a lot of laying on their tummy y'all know I like to do the little to the Buddha pose but that's mostly with silicone so I think you know I think it's, it's, it's okay you still can get quite a bit of poses and that's very natural pose there so yeah um really really excited to see more of them and one day I will build the nerves to paint my own um <clears throat> but again thanks for watching again don't forget to appreciate the sculptors that really take the time to actually really sculpt. We know that Bonnie Brown sculpts because she's done it with us live um, from nothing. She don't come on with the head already sculpted, the leg already sculpted, and even if she did, she squashed it and redid it again. So we know that she actually sculpts, and that is something that we should really, really protect. Um, protect her art, protect her work. You know, don't buy fakes. Don't don't try to make up excuses to make it okay for people to buy fakes. You know, so many people in this community is actually like trying to come up with all this justification of why we must stand with the people that buy fakes. No, I ain't standing with y'all. Y'all stand over there by y'all self. Because I ain't doing it. But anyway, that's a whole nother subject for another day. But I'm just going to tell you guys... I support, you know, real sculpts. Now, if I don't know you doing some trickery in the background, I mean, I just don't know. But the moment I know, and I know that I know, I'm pretty much done with that. You know what I mean? Like, so, thank you again for watching. Let me know what you thought of this review. What you think of Laura? Do you think she can be all colors or is she just strictly you just see her as a boy or a girl or what do you think about the kid let me know in the comment sections i'm very curious to know and be very honest with me thank you bye bye